In this lesson, we're going to talk about making a narration. Now, we do have one, but technically it's only a narration in name only. All I said was the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog's back. And by the way, we are in Audio 101 Project inside your work folder in a folder called Audio Project. Go ahead and open that up. First thing we do is get rid of me down here. So go down to the narration track and get rid of that. The next step is, of course, to have the narration or to have the person that's going to be doing the narration somewhere close at hand, like maybe next to your microphone, which brings up the next thing. What do you use to do good narrations? In my opinion, it's a really good headset. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and I'm going to go into Preferences. If you're on a Windows system, go to the word Edit. I'm going to go into Audio Hardware. I'm going to change this into my headset right here and then click OK. Now you could try if you're just playing around or maybe it's not something you plan on really doing that much. You can just use the built-in system that you have, built-in microphone, it doesn't have to be that great. Now I'm going to put my playhead right here, the CTI. I'm going to put that where I want it to start. I do want to start kind of at the beginning. I may not start talking at exactly the beginning, but that's kind of where I want this whole thing to start. If I come down here and look at this one, it says its duration is 10 seconds, 10 seconds and 13 frames. I want the narration to be part of just that first clip, so I've got a 10 second window to work it in. We're kind of, oh, I don't know, we're selling travel to the Matterhorn, because that's what the other scenic ones are, the Matterhorn. And it's kind of like tired of the rat race, how about a vacation that will change your life or something like that. Typically, if you're doing narration, you want to practice it a couple of times, get the timing down right, etc. Or if you're like me, hire somebody who's got a better voice. Now, I'm going to put on my headset here with my microphone, and then we'll go through the process. Let's go up to the word Tools on the pull-down menu and go down to Narration. Now, the headset that I'm using is controlled by another device. That's why you don't see this moving as I am talking. But I understand that about the process, so I'm not worried. If you're using a different system, or maybe it plugs directly into your computer, you'll probably see that moving as you talk, and you can change the sensitivity by clicking here. We have a play button if you want to play it. We haven't got anything to play yet. And we have a record button, which is what we want. And notice it says here, for best results, use a headphone. And uncheck mute to reduce feedback while recording. Lower the input level volume slider. And that would be up here. So I'm ready. I've practiced it a few times. I think I've got it down, hopefully, anyway. And I click the record button. And you'll see a 3, 2, 1 countdown come up here. You ready? Let's see if we can do this. Oh, one more thing. I keep my eye on this current time indicator, the CTI, and I got to stop talking by the time it gets to here. Tired of the same old rat race? How about a vacation that will literally blow your mind? All right, let's go ahead and click Done here. Notice it is here, came up automatically. And it's down here. It's exactly where we asked it to put it. It is a narration. It started where the playhead was. Let's move back and check it out. Let's close this too. Crush finger. Tired of the same old rat race? How about a vacation that will literally blow your mind? Now that's what I'm talking about. Okay, let's do our final act here and say File Save. There we go. Moving right along. 